What is up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful morning and a wonderful day if you're watching this at night or whatever. But anyway, I'm editing the second part of my video right now and it is picking up exactly where the left, the last episode, the crankshaft install left off. So I'm just putting this in here as a preface. So right now what I've done is I have the main bearings and the crankshaft installed in the block and I'm getting ready to put the pistons in and I just wanted to put this in here before just starting the video out at the next step is so you know you get the idea so you can see I'm editing right there and that's right about the point where uh, I tip the block back up and say the next step is to install the pistons so I just wanted to put this in here to give you a little bit more information about where this is at and why it's so abrupt because I filmed this whole video basically in one giant clip so I'm cutting it up into pieces and that's the way it's gonna be so hope you guys enjoy this one Stay tuned and watch till the end for some more information. The next step now is to install the pistons, which go in from the top. And I believe I have a ring compressor, but I don't know if it's the right size. So I'm gonna look for that real quick. So here are the pistons. They are in this box right here. Yep, see they're just little baby pistons. I believe their diameter is 2.68 inches or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these pistons real quick and bring them over to the workbench and set them all down these do go in a very specific order uh, here you go this is the damaged piston right here you can see these scrapes on the four corners I don't know what would have caused that except maybe overheating and the piston swelled and I'm pretty sure it is in cylinder one right here let me grab my phone flashlight real quick and you should be able to see this yes there you go you see the lines in there there are four lines one is right there there's one there and there's two more over here you can see them both there I don't know what caused that again I got this engine for free I have no idea what happened to it but I am putting it back together just to put it back together because I've never fully reassembled an engine before so hopefully everything goes well and they go back in I'm gonna guess that piston number one this piston is not going to slide in very easy uh, simply because of the way it is scraped like that whereas these other two pistons are not you can see here oh my bad this is piston one you see that one? Oh my bad so this is piston one it is scraped only in two places on the on it but uh cylinder number two actually looks fine but the piston does not this is piston number two as you can see right there and this my guess oh wait a minute hold on a sec that says piston one this also says piston one. This is what you get when you get free stuff, guys. You don't get what is really there. That's why I wanted to put this back together and make sure it was a viable engine. Obviously, somebody replaced piston one with another piston one, which they're all the same size, so it doesn't really matter that much. But uh, from what I understand, that's not right. So. I'm going to go ahead and clean these up a little bit and then I will cut straight to putting them in. Alrighty guys, so I have come to a discovery. I have found our bad piston, well one of them. Here you can see that that is all scored in four places, very very bad scored in four places, which would describe cylinder one with the four spots on the wall. Now what I'm not understanding here is I believe it's not this one it's this one look at that the whole side of the piston is completely scratched off and destroyed I think this side's pretty bad too yeah you can see where that's all scraped and not smooth this side is bad enough that it's actually crushed the rings into the piston and they won't move so this engine was clearly thoroughly abused and not taken care of very well or else this wouldn't have happened this is the reason that the uh, the original owner tore the engine down and they were gonna try and fix it but I think they probably realized it was so bad that they didn't even want to deal with it um, and that's why I got it for free so 
I'm gonna go ahead and set up a time lapse of putting these pistons in. I have this uh, ring compressor here, but I don't know if it's gonna work, so we'll see. Alright guys, so uh, my ring compressor was a little bit too big, it maxed out, and well, it, the, it bottomed out around 3 inches, so I'm going to make one, I just have some aluminum flashing here and a hose clamp, and this, if we just wrap it around and get the hose clamp tight on it, should be plenty to compress these rings as these, this is a very, very small engine, so uh, should not be an issue, we just have to make sure that our... Uh, our rod is gonna go on there, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how much bigger this is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this real quick. Alrighty, that should be tight enough for the time being. I'm just gonna wrap this around there. Drop our hose clamp down like that. And now we are just going to clamp it down the rest of the way. Alrighty, there's that. So we are going to take our rubber bottom on our rubber mallet and we will just give this a few good wax and see that it goes right down in there. Perfect. Now we can take this. I'm going to tip the block over and then we can check our torque spec and put this on and then I will just go ahead and do the other two in just a minute. Here, we'll tip our block. Oh, that got so much heavier with the crank. And now we just have to guide. You can still see that. We just have to guide our piston right down, a rod right down onto the main, or onto the crankshaft there. Give it a good smack. Alrighty, so our piston is now set. And I'm going to make sure you use uh, assembly lube when you're putting an engine together just goes a lot better, smoother, easier. Slide this bearing on. And we'll thread our nuts on here. And now I'm going to go and look up the torque spec. So this is what I have to do for this whole engine is kind of just figure out where everything goes because I don't really know, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. And I was not the one that took it apart. So it's like building Legos without directions. That's exactly what it's like. Tighten nuts to 16 foot pounds. We're going to give these a uh, good tighten up here. Tighten them up evenly so that that bearing goes on straight. Wow, these were quite loose. All right, that one got tight. And that one got tight. So now we are going to do the actual torquing here to 16 foot pounds. There it is. Sixteen foot pounds. Alrighty, so that is all that you have to do to put a piston in. The big thing is making sure you get that ring compressor on there or else they won't slide down in there. Um, so as you can see, we're just going to, if I can, this next piston, we need to get this rod down to the bottom and same for the third piston, um, which might be a challenge, but I think I'll be able to put bolts on this backside into these holes in here and then I can use a pry bar and turn it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a time lapse for the rest of this since you just saw how it's done.
This is the block. We got all three pistons in. They all went in pretty well. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with this one here, uh, but uh, or with this one, my bad, this one here, but it was okay. So coming at you again from my bedroom, again in the process, where's that? There it is, of editing the video on the pistons. And it again, what's it at? It is at 13 minutes and four seconds. So with this clip, it'll probably be around 14 minutes. But that was the process to install any piston in any engine as far as I know. I don't know of any other way to install a piston unless it's some weird obscure engine. But that was simple enough. It was really quick. And again, I'm just cutting this, these, all these, I think I have 50 or 60 video clips and I'm just cutting them down. And this is gonna be a pretty long series of every single part goes separately you know so each individual step will probably be its own video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this series and that's where i'm calling it for this video hope you enjoyed it make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and drop a like down below that would really make me happy so in the top of the description will be the link to my merch store and my instagram if you want to go ahead and go follow me over there so i will catch you guys in the next one